The Case of Blur. I love Blur, but it's a very interesting case with him because, you know, we had that old generation's IDW styled one, which is really cool, still have it, but not G1 Blur, you know, it was IDW Blur, and it was a repaint of Drift. Really cool toy, but wasn't really filling the G1 Blur need in the Classics collection. And then, you know, 2017 came around, and we got Titan's Return Blur that you see on the left. And when everyone saw him, they were like, why are his colors so disgustingly hideous? Now, granted, I don't think his colors are hideous. I actually kind of think his weird, off-drab blue is kind of charming in a way. But his colors are not appealing, and they are not accurate to Blur. However, Takara Tomy, with their Transformers Legends line, absolutely nailed the deco of Blur and made the, ti the Titans Return toy you see on the left look absolutely stunning. But I never got that one. <laughs> I just had the Titans Return. Never got the Legends one because everyone wanted it and it got kind of hard to get. And I was just kind of like, man, you know, I might get that Legends one someday. And I was actually gearing up to get that Legends one. Then it was a couple years ago. Studio Series started Studio Series 86, basing toys off the original 1986 movie. And we got a Blur toy in that Studio Series 86 line in the very first wave. And I was like, yep, that's my Blur. Bought the 86 one. Sold off my Titans Return instantly before I even did an old versus new video. Because I don't really think I was doing them back then. I don't think so. But I could have held on to it, but I decided, no, I don't need it anymore. I have the Brainstorm retool. I have the Mold. I don't need this Blur. But I kind of started to regret that. I was thinking I kind of wish I would have made an old versus new video. Because I still kind of like that Titans Return Blur. And then good old Bobby C in the P.O. Box sends me another Titans Return Blur. <laughs> he didn't even know I was wanting it again. But thank you, Bobby. Thank you so much. This time I actually do remember who sent me something in the P.O. Box for a video. So thank you so much, Bobby. Greatly appreciate it. This video would not be possible without you. And... Even though it is the old, uh, you know, quote-unquote inferior version, uh, I'm definitely going to keep them around this time because I really enjoy the toy, even if the colors are definitely not ideal. The colors have kind of grown on me in this weird way. I don't know. It's hard to describe. But what we have here are two not-perfect Blur toys. Blur has yet to have the perfect toy. And perhaps the best toy would be the amalgamation of the two. Uh, we'll come to my conclusion at the end. But, yeah, Titans Return versus Studio Series 86. Let's get into it. So Titans Return on the left is a deluxe. Studio Series 86 is also a deluxe. The Studio Series is just a little bigger. Just a little bit. Uh, and, you know, I don't mind that. The Studio Series is definitely trying its best to be as accurate to the movie as possible. Uh, it's missing a little bit of darker color at the tips of the little intakes there, but other than that, it's pretty much there. Uh, I do think this kibble on the arm, while it is accurate to the character, both of them have it. It is accurate to the character to have that on the arm. It's a little too big on this. Especially once you start posing the arm, he just has this giant, like, weird hoop sleeve. <laughs> you know, it looks looks kind of awkward, but it's not too ugly, I suppose. You know, it still kind of serves a purpose. You can untab it and actually give him wrist articulation, which is interesting. But yeah, you know, it's a little ugly, but hey, it's there. Uh, he does have less of a backpack, which is nice, because uh, this doesn't really serve as anything else other than a backpack. It looks kind of nice, adds to the, to the flow of him. Uh, yeah, I really do like the look overall. You know, I think this one looks really nice. And going back to the Titans Return, uh, besides the very, very drab colors, I think this is proportionally very nice. It is one of the best Titans Return molds that we had in the entire line. By far. Uh, he does have a larger backpack, but it does kind of go with the Titans Return gimmick of being uh, not only a shield which is nice and also kind of, you know, a reference to the original G1 toy. You can put it in his hand, you can put it on his arm, you can put it on his shoulder, I think. I think it's a hole you can put it in. Uh, I guess not. <laughs> guess not. Oh, those are just shoulder, those are just holes for the pins. How quickly people forget, including myself. Uh, but you could also put it like that if you're deranged. Uh, you can flip out a handle and have this upside down as like a ski thing. 
It's actually a seat you could put someone in. Uh, we'll kind of talk about that. He can't hold it upside down, but it can be like a little ski sled. Yeah, we'll, we'll discuss that. But me personally, I just keep that on his back. Uh, again, the colors are very drab. Like he has, besides the little bit of color for the alt mode right there, he has no color on his arms at all. It's just all the same drab blue. He's got a little bit of lighter blue on the torso, but other than that, all the same drab blue. I think the issue with this guy fundamentally wasn't necessarily the shade of blue. It's just it's just that there's no other shade of blue to combat it. Because we look at this, and you see, you know, two very distinct shades of blue. And then you have white. You know, two shades of blue and white. And then we just have two very dull shades of blue one very one that actually three shades because you kind of have like this lighter lighter blue then this like dark slightly darker blue that's there and there then you have like this really dark painted blue that's almost indistinguishable between the molded plastic and the paint it's very odd the colors on this are very very odd uh this technically does have three shades of blue too because he's got light medium and dark they just kind of chose the wrong shades and they chose the wrong places to put them uh, again, the Titans Return uh, mold had the bad colors, but the Takara Legends repaint essentially perfects the deco of this. So if you really want this mold, the Titans Return is, you know, I the colors have grown on me, but the Takara Legends is the way to go with this toy. Uh, it, it looks very nice. It feels great, too. He's got a, you know, ball joint at the head, uh, kind of like a sort of ball hinge, more just like a universal joint at the shoulder. Uh, it does kind of get in the way of his head, but it's not too big of a deal. Uh, swivel, hinge, swivel at the wrist, swivel at the waist, ball joints, ball joints at the hips, swivel, knee bend, and you have a, a toe articulation too. So his articulation is pretty decent, and he looks the part. Like, it's yes, that's blur. It's just very odd colors for blur. <laughs> it's, it's, it's very nice. I love blur. He's one of my favorites. Uh, especially from the 86 cast. He's probably, from the new Autobots, he's, besides Hot Rod, he's probably my favorite. Uh, it's, you know, just kind of a shame that this toy has such a drab color scheme. But again, it, I kind of like it, <laughs> you know? I accept this as this is what Titan's Return Blur looks like. This this isn't what G1 Blur looks like. You need to go to Kara for that, or Studio Series 86. But I think the main problem with the Studio Series 86, the problem that a lot of people have with it is that it's just kind of proportionally awkward. I mean, look at the sculpt. Like, we're not articulating him at all right now. Let's look at the sculpt. Sculpt is pretty spot on. Like, that head, as kind of odd looking as it is, that's, that's how he looked in the movie, pretty much. He had the weird, like, you know, old colonial looking wig <laughs> he, th this is how he looked, man. It's, what can I say? The arms are pretty accurate. He does have a gun right here, as well as, I think this was like a little oil canister, like a little dispenser thing. It's been a minute since I've seen the movie, and I didn't care to really look into what this is. That's what, that's what it is. Now we know. You don't have to tell me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's got that that kind of goes over his hand, which is kind of cool. Uh, and his legs, you know, the legs... Sculpt wise, look really nice. He doesn't have anything protruding off the side. They look really sleek. But then you stand him next to Titan's Return, and you start to notice something. Uh, he's got a very long body, and his legs are a little short. Like for being taller than the Titan's Return by just a little bit, his legs shouldn't be shorter. And his arms are pretty decent in size, but the joint is kind of disjointed. You know, especially like once you rotate it, it just looks and feels a little disjointed. And this big old sleeve thing makes the arm feel way bigger than it is. So the arm feels huge, right? And then you have these legs that are just ever so slightly too small and a crotch that's a little too long. And, you know, you move his leg. Let's move that leg, then move this leg, tilt this foot. And then before you know it, you're like, oh, why does he look so weird <laughs> you know he's just proportionally very awkward on paper the joints work great he feels great he the deco's great the sculpt's great but it's just the proportions they're very awkward 
Like, these are way too big. And I think it just causes this illusion of his arms being, like, these massive gorilla arms and his legs being really tiny. So I feel like they could have, you know, maybe sized that down just a little bit. And then they could have maybe made the legs just a little bit bigger. And it might have it might have fixed it. Do I think those issues are damning for this toy? Do I think that the issues absolutely hold it back and it's an awful toy, War Studio Series 86 figure? Not at all. Still very, very happy with this blur. Seeing it on the shelf, being able to pose him mildly, you know, posing him mildly so he doesn't look a little too awkward. Uh, yeah, this this blur is great, man. I, I, I think it serves its purpose for my collection. I'm really happy with this one. But... Again, I'm happy you have this one again. You know, his articulation, I, I went over his, but him, he's got a ball joint at the base of the neck, interestingly. Swivel and, like, hinge at the shoulder, as well as, like, another hinge for transformation. Swivel, hinge. Again, he's got the swivels at the wrist, but, like, you have to detach that, and it just it's awkward. Don't do it. Waist swivel, you know, universal joints at the hips, thigh swivel. Kind of a double jointed knee, but it's just like ever so slight. It's just like a transformation hinge. And then the ankles, you get a nice tilt out of them. And you can hinge them forward too. So his articulation and everything, it's it's good. It's good on paper. It's a good toy on paper. But it's just kind of awkward in execution. Uh, so like looking at both of these, you know, this one's a little awkward. But the sculpt is very accurate to the movie. Then this one, the toy itself is very fun very great like here just like let's kind of get this guy in a more dynamic pose like he doesn't have any of that awkwardness he looks really cool it's just his colors suck <laughs> that's his problem so yeah like in let's get him in a very similar pose too so i think like a problem could be like the positioning of the the arm hinge makes him look awkward ignore the little canister there i'm not going to take that out yeah, like, getting them in very similar poses. One looks really, really cool, and the other kind of looks dorky. <laughs> you know? And again, fundamentally, functionally, they operate the same. It's just the slight proportions on the Studio Series just make it look a little too odd. Just a little bit. I think I've harped on that long enough. Let's transform the Titan's Return. Because we got to see the alt mode. We got to see how this works. And this transformation, man, oof, is so good. It's so good. So, because he is a Titan's Return figure, we cannot talk about him without mentioning the fact that he is a Titan Master. So, yeah, I just ripped his head off. So, yeah, you rip his head off, then you collapse that, then you flip this, and it's like, oh, it's a little guy. It's a little guy. I don't know his name. I don't really care to know his name, but it's a little guy. Uh, and I kind of alluded to it earlier. You can take this, and it is a, a vehicle. Anyways, <laughs> we can keep that on for the transformation, thankfully, but you do have to take him off for the transformation. You do have to be head blur. So this transformation, man, it's real good. It's just so good, man. It does the thing where the legs open up and they collapse and they kind of like close back in. And it's just so satisfying on this one. You do have to flip out the little fin right there. You got to flip that out. But it's just it's so satisfying, man. It's so well done. It's so well done. And it's pretty simple, too. It's not like a super difficult transformation. It's not the kind of transformation that, like, leaves you wanting to tear your hair out. It's just like, oh, you know, this thing does this thing, and then it flips in, and then it, oh, look, it just collapses right there. And then you flip that up, and you do want to flip the cockpit up. Because, awesomely, another thing Tides Return figures did, because they had little guys... Little guys need to go in there, right? So you can actually put the headmaster in the driver's seat of every single Titans Return toy. And it was really cool. You can leave the seat back like that, but I personally like bringing it forward. Just kind of close that off. And then pretty much all that's left, you just take the arms, collapse them in. And there we go. Here's a very, very nice alt mode for blur. So the fact that we see more of the brighter color in this mode just goes to show that it's not necessarily the shade of blue. Now, granted, it could have been a better shade, but it was the lack of differentiation in the colors in the robot mode. Because all this brighter blue is only in the alt mode. The only thing you have is the border of the cockpit and everything else. Like, look at that. That's basically what you're looking at for the robot mode. It's all the same color. 
So they definitely skipped out on the paint big time on this toy. They really should have dedicated more paint to it because, believe me, it would have looked great. Essentially, almost the entire toy is molded in the exact same color of blue plastic. There's a little bit of, you know, differentiation here and there, but they should have had a runner with, like, a part of the mold with just the brighter blue. Honestly, it's really what they should have done. But they did what they did, <laughs> and the transformation on this mold is magnifique. If you have it as Blur, if you have it as Brainstorm, which is my personal favorite iteration of it, even Nautica, even RC. I think they retooled this mold into RC. It's such a good mold. Get your hands on it. Again, my favorite iteration of it is Brainstorm by far, but this is a very, very solid toy. Love, love, love it. And you can take this and plug it in to the bottom, which is, as always, very nice. All right, let's transform this one. It's actually been a hot minute. <laughs> it has been a minute. The hands just kind of go over, I know. I think we might need to rotate them, but we'll we'll get there when we get there. I know he does actually kind of have take some inspiration from the Titan's Return, if I'm not mistaken. Like, his legs does, do kind of open up in a similar way. So, it is kind of cool, you know. He's, in a way, standing on the shoulders of giants. That rotates, I remember... And then that flips up because he kind of has like this cool like open seat kind of vehicle mode. Then I think his arms do like this weird rotating thing. Yeah. So those will go down kind of similar to the Titan's Return. But then these things are going to rotate, right? I have not transformed this guy since I got it when it came out. So this will be one of the, the cases in the video where it's like, oh, let's see how easy it is to transform all these years later. So yeah, that just... Had a little bit, a little stuck there. So, yeah, these do move. They don't swivel like I thought they did. They hinge down. So, this will rotate. We will need to rotate. I don't know if we need to rotate the whole arm or just the hand. I think we just need to do the hand. Yeah. See how we're getting there? It's, it's still very fun. And I can tell it's very similar to the Titan's Return. Like, a lot of this is very similar. So I kind of feel like, you know, this wouldn't have existed without the Titan's Return in some ways. Again, do I feel like... I feel like they were like, let's take the Titan's Return toy and, they, and let's improve it. Like, that's what they had in mind. But unfortunately, that's just not what happened in some regard. Because even though everything on paper for this, the Studio Series 1, I feel like everything on paper is better than the Titan's Return. Once you get down to it, and once you really get everything together and tabbed in. <laughs> I'm kind of trying to persuade it here. Once you get everything, there we go, together and tabbed in. And once you get it, especially in the robot mode, you kind of realize it's a bit of a proportional mess. Again, it, it doesn't break the figure for me. It doesn't ruin it, but I know it ruined it for a lot of people. That It actually made the demand for the Takara Legends blur even higher. Because a lot of people are like, oh man, they did it in Studio Series and it's crap. I need to go back and get that Takara one. But like getting this in the in the alt mode here, I wouldn't say this is crap. Not at all. Because this alt mode is sweet. It's very accurate to the movie. It's very accurate. Once you get everything tabbed in, you need to flip that out again. I mean, look at that. That's, that's blur from the movie right there. That's really well done. The seat's a little loosey-goosey. But it's on a friction hinge, so I can kind of forgive it. You know, maybe just put a little bit of a little bit of whatever thickening agent you like, and it'll take care of it. You do kind of have a bit of a platform, too, which is really nice. You just kind of, you know, set it down. Almost looks like it's hovering, which is really cool. Now, granted, this one kind of looks like it's hovering, too, but I feel like this is a little bit more convincing, you know? It's really cool. You can store these. I know this can go there, I think. And then, oop! And then this, well, it it goes it goes somewhere. <laughs> it goes somewhere. I say in a moment of panic. All I know is that that goes there. Uh, maybe that goes there. Yeah, that goes there. It goes on the side. There we go. So you can still get the gun in the front, which is nice. Kind of feel like it looked a little better on the Titan's Return. But honestly, looking at the alt modes. I think I prefer the smoothness of the transformation of this one, but this transformation isn't bad either. 
And I think we have a better alt mode on our hands. I think this one just looks better in the alt mode. Uh, and it has like the kind of open seat right there because that's kind of how it was in, in the movie. The color differentiation. So definitely really nice on this. This is basically like, imagine this toy in these colors. That's the Takara Legends blur. So take that as you will. Me personally, out of both of these blurs, if I could only keep one, obviously, I've already made that choice. I kept the Studio Series. I like them both. I really, really do. But, again, you know, if you're down to a choice, I would personally, out of these two, out of the Titans Return blur and the Studio Series 86, I would go with the Studio Series 86. That being said, I personally think the best blur toy is the Takara Legends. Essentially, Titans Return in the Studio Series colors. I think that is the best Blur toy that you can get. But, that might not necessarily be what you need for your collection. If you need a Blur that is accurate to the movie, of course, get Studio Series. That's kind of the whole point of that line. It's, again, proportionally awkward. But other than the proportional awkwardness that everyone harped on, it's fundamentally a, a perfect Blur. Like, it's, it's not perfect, but it's, it's, it's on paper perfect. It's just, it's just proportionally funky, man. You know, don't give it that hard of a time. It doesn't look the greatest in certain poses, but it looks great in other poses, and it, the sculpt is great, the deco's great. It's a great toy. Both of these are great toys. One of them, unfortunately, was just given a horrible color scheme on initial release. Alrighty, guys, there we go. There is my old versus new on Titans Return versus Studio Series Blur. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Me, personally, my favorite blur is neither of these. My favorite is the, uh, the animated one. That's my favorite blur toy. <laughs> then after that, probably the Generations IDW one. There is an IDW uh, in the Velocitron line. There is like an IDW uh, repaint of that with a new head. So keep that in mind, too. You know, if you... If you want, like, this toy of Blur, but maybe you want a little bit more modern flavor, go with IDW, which is funny, because it's kind of similar to that color scheme in some ways. It's a drabbier blue. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Special shout-out to channel members, as always. Thank you so much for the continued support. Channel members got to see this video early, along with other videos. Uh, you know, if you support me, I try my best to give back. You know, I'm, I'm such a saint, aren't I? Oh, my gosh. Uh, <laughs> thanks so much, guys. Have a great one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.